All right, we're continuing with onion. Um, I've been asked for written recipes, so um, I will be posting written recipes um, on my posts that follow the uh, videos. Um, here I have got the beginnings of my vegetable pakora, which have been requested. Onion, I'm just using red onion here, but you can use just your normal white onion. Um, about one medium sized onion there. And into this, we are going to add some besan, chickpea flour it's sold as. This is half a cup, but we're gonna start off with just a little less. Um, I'm putting in just under one teaspoon of salt. I put in a little bit, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, not even that, of turmeric. You put in, it's already got chili in it, but a little bit of chili powder sort of just enhances and echoes that flavor a little bit. Um, and then I've got some coriander powder and a little bit of cumin powder as well. Now I use my hands, but you can just because I can feel the consistency better, but you can also use, um, you know, a spoon or a fork or whatever. We just need to add a little bit of water to get it going. The onions, everything will have uh, that release their own water anyway. So you don't want it too wet. And what you want it to do is coat. I don't like it with a lot of sort of coating around it. Um, I like it so there's just enough to crisp up and to bind it all together. And then you really get to chase the vegetable. A bit more as you can see. So we need, it needs to hold everything. So that's about two cups of chickpea flour in there. And now you can see it's beginning to come together. I mean, it hasn't got any gluten in it, so it's great for those that are avoiding things like gluten and wheat. And that is something I'm happy with. When we're happy with our consistency, um, I've got, I've got, I use a wok just because of the shape of it. Um, you get more surface area to fry on. It's heated. I use sunflower oil or, you know, rapeseed oil, any vegetable oil. Um, and we're going to get it up to on a medium heat, nicely, slowly coming up towards so it remains consistent in temperature. Um, we, do, we can test it a bit as well. Just drop a little bit of something in there. You can see it's bubbling. It hasn't gone madly furious, haven't bounced up. It's quite a nice temperature. So what we do is take a spoonful. I've just got like a, a tablespoon's worth. Did a table. So you don't want to crowd it too much because when the heat drops too quickly and it won't crisp um, and you want enough space for you to be able to turn it over as well. And then we just fry those, keep an eye on them until they're gone. Right, so these have been frying gently um, for about five minutes actually. So I'm just turning them over. So you want to have them uh, a slight golden colour They'll be nice and crunchy on the outside, but obviously you want everything cooked on the inside as well. So. Right, we're ready to remove these. They've been cooking for a further three, four minutes until they're this lovely golden color. Shake it off and immediately put it onto a tray. I put it on a baking tray with a paper towel because then I find it, I just put these in the oven um, and they're fine. We can remove the paper towel on a low heat, maybe about 80, Degree C, just to keep them crisp while you make the others, um, or if you're in advance of a party, you can do that. It will retain the crispness outside. If you shake off the excess oil there um, and then put them directly onto the paper towel, it does absorb the excess fat that's on there. And those are the vegetable pakoras.